on YouTube. It's your boy Light back with another YouTube video. And uh yeah, today we're doing uh Star Wars Battlefront 2 story slash campaign review. So yeah. Basically uh, I'm just gonna review the storyline of um of the Battlefront 2 campaign. Basically just the storyline itself. The story, not like gameplay and stuff. Um so yeah, um this this was the, just my initial thoughts is this was a pretty good um game uh story was a decent story honestly it was I would probably rate it like a seven out of ten but yeah besides the point uh so yeah if you didn't know um I'm going to be not a series in a sense I am planning on doing some reviews of video game stories and stuff so that's the reasoning uh for this videos um. I plan on doing uh, Fallen Order next week, so yeah. Not all the games will be Star Wars too. I plan on doing like Call of Duty and stuff too, because I think I I think those storylines were pretty fun. But yeah, um, um. So yeah, the story, the Star Wars Battlefront Two campaign mode. Um. So I'm not gonna go through the whole plot and stuff because that'll take me like ten minutes, honestly, and I just don't feel like the review should be like that long i plan on making this video at least 10 minutes long not not too too long um so yeah basically what happens in the story it's split into two parts the empire era and basically resistance slash a bit of new republic before the events of force awakens so yeah um we see uh imperial kind of commander slash agent named Aiden Versio who is um leader of a squadron called Inferno Squadron they are pictured actually right here um that's what they look like if, in case you were wondering there was actually a battle pack and stuff made out of it uh in case you were a Lego fan I don't know if you're a Lego fan but yeah, you can see there's a picture right there of Aiden Versio it's pretty fun um yeah, so basically the story just follows her as she is trying to navigate through the news that the Empire is basically dying and that they're tr getting ready to, like, just trying to fight off the New Republic, basically. And yeah, she ends up turning, spoiler alert, yeah, she turns to the Republic um, slash Rebel, so that's pretty funny. Then they fight and it's it's kind of hard to explain um basically what you need to know is she basically she was with the empire then turned and went to the um to the 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 rebels i'll review the second part like uh, uh i'll just talk about the empire part first so yeah the empire part is pretty fun it took me about maybe like i would say maybe like 10 the whole game, first and second part, took me about, I would say, maybe like 10, 12 hours. Honestly, um, I'm not like a huge experience. Well, I'm experienced, but like, I'm not a huge like gamer and stuff, honestly. So yeah, that's the reasoning for that. Um, if like, say, let's say like a gamer person, like a Twitch streamer or something played this game. It would probably take them like probably at least five hours maybe. The story is not that long honestly. Um, so yeah, I, I was just doing stuff and all that when I was doing the game. Playing the game, sorry. Um, so yeah, um, pretty interesting. Uh, I would honestly, the storyline is very good. I really like how it basically details the events between... What you end off in Return of the Jedi, and when you end off in when it's like the For Force Awakens, basically, which I really like. Um, what's very interesting is um, is is just what happens, honestly. Um, so yeah, basically, end starts off. Uh, Iden Versio is just on the Endor and Endor. Basically, she sees that the Death Star is destroyed. Um, she flees away. It's very interesting because we see that the Empire is basically being hunted. 
so that's I I, I enjoy it. Um, then we we find out that Iron Versio's father, I believe his name is Admiral Versio. It doesn't say it does say his first name, but I can't remember right now. I also don't have a picture. So yeah, um, that's very interesting. Um, and he's basically leading it on. And we also see that Emperor Palpatine is actually um, just like some... He, he's like in a hollow projector or something. He's like in a droid. His mind is confused to it or something. It's very complicated in that aspect. And... Very strange. Um, we also see that she's in prison too, so that's that's what I realized. Um, I really I really like the storyline. It's very very good. What I disliked really a lot about the story is just probably the fact that the way I Versio turned it was kind of very stupid. It was like basically what happened. Um, the Empire planned to blow up a place called Vardos. See, Vardos was like a system that hailed the Empire. They just, they like loved the Empire. They just turned to them, basically. Everyone there was like, wanted the Empire to win. So basically what happened is the Imperials decided to evacuate and destroy the planet. Um... But Iron Versi was like, no, 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 Vardis was loyal, no, no, no. Um, and yeah, so that's basically what happened. So she tried to save people and save the Empire, like, some people there. Tried to save them, started shooting up the imp Empire. Then what happened was she actually crash landed with the Rebels. And what had happened is she was just like, oh, I can help you take care of these people. And then, they, then she's just like, then we meet Lando Calrissian, who's basically like, um, basically like, uh, sorry, uh, I'm trying to remember what happened here because I, it was like a little bit ago I watched, I mean, I played the game, so that's the reasoning for that. And then basically she just says yes to when he's saying, oh, we could use your help. So, yeah, that wasn't a really good turn, honestly. Uh, okay, sorry about that. That was the wrong picture. But, yeah, um, I find that very strange in the way she just turns. She's just like, yes, I'll come join you. There wasn't, like, no fight, nothing. It was just her turning, and that was it. See, I liked, I liked for example, um... Agent Cal's from Rebels, for example. He's a good example. He was with the Empire, and he just slowly transitioned to being a Rebel. So that was very interesting. Um, I really liked that part. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, next up is just... And then, I really liked the Battle of Jakku. It really showed what happened there. And how the Empire was destroyed. I, I understood that Jakku was like a war zone. Where the final battle happened. But yeah that was very interesting. The way it just played out. What happened after the returns of, return of the Jedi basically. Uh, just Luke and his training. But it didn't show Luke or anything. It showed Luke but it didn't show. Like Jedi younglings or anything. So that was one thing I wish I could have seen. Hopefully they do a video game and stuff about that. But. Yeah, um, then basically the fight on Jakku finished the game right there. I really liked it, the aspect of showing what happened. That That's what I like about this game the most. Uh, I don't like the turning stuff. That was stupid. Um, and yeah, basically the second part of the game is takes place in like a... Maybe like a year, few months before Force Awakens, honestly. But yeah, what basically happens is... Iden Versio is actually all right. Sorry, I have to explain something from the last one, which was that um, Iden Versio ended up like marrying slash I, I don't know marrying and eventually having a child with another agent that actually was part of the Infernal Squadron that turned with her. 
So yeah, that was pretty interesting. Um, I can't remember his name exactly, but yeah, it was it was cool to see that. And then basically, they have a child pictured right here. I believe her name is like Zaya or something. The second part was not that long, to be all fairness. It was about like, it took me maybe two hours, an hour and a half. Honestly, it wasn't too long. Um, but basically what happened was... Was, um... Was that, um... Sorry, I'm really bad at recounting stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, Zaya, her father was like killed by Kylo Ren... And then we find out that a former Inferno Squadron member named Agent Hask or something. I think that was his name. Uh, who has worked very close with Iron Versio ended up turning to be a First Order member. Then, um, yeah, basically they fight. Uh, they uh, Kylo Ren out, ends up killing her father. The two go on a mission trying to figure out what the hell is happening. And then basically uh, Iron Versio ends up getting shot and killed on a star destroyer trying to stop this thing yeah I'm basically trying to send the plans star killer plans just trying to show everyone where what happened so it kind of acts like kind of like a rogue one kind of movie because it shows you how they got star killer where to blow it up and stuff all that um so yeah that was pretty interesting i like that um it really concludes, it really tells the story of Iden Verse. You don't feel like you d demanding like a sequel being like, oh, what happened to Iden Verse during the Age of Resistance? Um, or something like that. Maybe you want to know what happened to Zaya, but that, I'm pretty sure she's still alive. But yeah, that was, that was very interesting. Um, and yeah, it's also a good storyline because... Basically, there was no Jedi or Sith. It was mostly just fighting. Similar to Rogue One, honestly. I believe this movie did come out like 2018, 2017 maybe. So it was like around... It was like a year after Rogue One. Year or two after Rogue One. So that was that makes sense. Um. So yeah, the storyline was pretty good. Honestly... It was a little short for my liking, and the turning point wasn't really good. Um, but in terms of, like, action and just learning stuff from this, like, what happened, especially if you're, like, a person who doesn't read the comics or books or anything, it just wants to know what happened and just want to play through it. I would definitely recommend this game, honestly. But honestly, I'll give, them, give it about a 7 out of 10 just for the shortness and the turning point. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I would still buy it though. I I don't have any regrets like buying it. I I bought it for like about sixty dollars. How I bought it like when it first came out, or a couple months after. So yeah. Um, but I actually did just recently play the story mode, like only a couple months ago. Not that not too long ago. That's the reason why I'm having a problem recounting it. But um, yeah, that was very interesting. I would kind of recommend it. To casual fans. Maybe not so much like. People who already know what's happening. Unless you like this video game. Then, then that's the reason. But yeah. Uh, this is going to be the end of the video guys. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.